The Street Fighter series is as straightforward as it gets. A few basic modes, a variety of characters, new mechanics, and a story of some variety. You know, typical fighting game content. At the top of my head, I can only think of three innovations that Street Fighter V brought to the table. Challenges that added variety to the single player experience, fight money that gave players the option to earn currency to buy costumes, and a team battle mode that allows for a longer gaming session. As a fan of Street Fighter, I can't help but to imagine what other features that Capcom could bring to the table with the next entry in the series. Upon exploring the rich history of crossovers and cut content for some of my previous videos, one of the things that stood out to me was the scrapped version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Hey, I hope you don't mind me cutting in here. If you liked the video so far, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. During the game's first public gameplay reveal, we were presented with Ryu and Kazuya duking it out in an early version of what looks to be the Urban War Zone stage. Being that this was an early version of the game, the UI wasn't present during the demonstration. To me, this reveal was more for the purpose of giving fans a tease as to how the game will look and move. This version of the game introduced an innovation that could have been an interesting addition to the final game. Cinematic Tag Finishers. The feature reminds me of the Street Fighter EX series produced by Arika. More specifically, Street Fighter EX3 with their Meteor Tag combos. Meteor Tag combos were a way of initiating a finisher that called upon your second character to perform a special scripted action. In addition, there were other tag features such as critical parades that allowed you to simultaneously control two characters to perform a continuous juggle on the opponent. If this version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken remained the basis of the game, I'm sure that the developers would have added other tag features as well. I said all of that to say this, imagine the next Street Fighter game taking inspiration from these two titles and implementing a tag system to spruce things up. Capcom could approach this from a variety of ways. For one, Capcom could approach the mode just as they did with Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The implementation of cinematic tag finishers would be a great addition, as it is a feature that no other modern day fighting game has from the time of this video. The Street Fighter series is no stranger to cinematic finishers. The only difference would be the addition of another character performing an attack in the same cinematic. Of course, there would have to be some form of character switching, whether it be active with the press of a button or passive with the defeat of a character. Considering Capcom's experience with tag-based games, with the only blemish on their record being Street Fighter Cross Tekken's gimmicky gem system, they should have the ability to implement such a thing within a mainline Street Fighter game. At most, I could envision Capcom implementing a 2 vs 2 system to prevent Marvel vs Capcom from being redundant in any way. Considering all possibilities, they could also take inspiration from what Marvel vs Capcom Infinite established and include a system that allowed assists in some fashion. Most people would draw the line at air combos but incorporating the second character to perform an action of some kind wouldn't exactly be a feature that would take away from the Marvel series. After all, there are a variety of games now that accomplishes that same thing, such as Dragon Ball Fighters and Blaze Blue Cross Tag. On the other side of the spectrum, Capcom could take inspiration from SNK and incorporate a system that allowed for characters to be chosen in a particular order and swapped when a character goes down. Although the team that worked on this game has long since departed, Capcom vs SNK was Capcom's interpretation of SNK's King of Fighters formula. They could use that game as inspiration as well. There are so many possibilities with how Capcom could approach a tag mode. It raises the question of just how large of an impact such a mode would have on the series. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, check out my video on top 5 facts about Min Min. You'll love it.